Okay, hi guys. So welcome to your Diploma in Health and Fitness Part 1, Real Fitness for Real Results. So I did promise you a little bit of a bonus video if you gave me lots of likes and shares on that Facebook post. And of course, as you can see now, it's into the thousands. So here's my five ways to succeed in your fitness based on the information we talked about in lesson one to really create some great habits over the next four weeks and start to see an amazing transformation over the first few months for you. The first thing that I'd love for you to do for me is I want you to think about what you really want from your health and fitness. Really think about it. Most people are looking to lose weight or tone up or increase their energy levels or maybe just get in a bit better shape. But I want you to really think about long term what you want from your body from your health what you want to be able to do because that's what type of transformation i want you to get to over the next 12 months so i have four specific questions that i'd love for you to answer for me so grab a pen and paper and i want you to answer these four questions for me the first thing i want you to write down is i want you to write down your long-term fitness goal so not just your current maybe you want to lose a few pounds you want to shape up a little bit i want you to write down your long-term fitness goal what do you want your body shape to look like what do you want your body to be able to do over the next few months and next year and pretty much for life and i also want you to write down how many times have you tried to achieve this before now most people this is not the first time they've joined a health and fitness course. This is not the first time they've tried to do it. So I want you to really think about how many times you've tried to do this before. Once you've written that down, the next thing I want you to think about is why are you trying again now? What is your trigger this time? So what made you Google health and fitness course and find the Shaw Academy and then register for the course? Because you took a lot of time out of your day to do that. So what was your trigger? Many years ago for me, my trigger in my fitness journey and my lifestyle change was I saw a picture of myself, me and my girlfriend on holidays, and I really hadn't realized how overweight and how unhappy and how really unfit I'd let myself become, especially at the age of 27. Okay? So that's two very important questions that you're going to ask yourself. The third question I want to ask yourself is on a scale of 1 to 10, how badly do you want to achieve your fitness results? And really think about that. What are you willing to do? Are you willing to change your diet habits? Are you willing to introduce exercise on a daily basis? Are you willing to look at your lifestyle as a whole and really decide, are you living an unhealthy lifestyle? Are you smoking? Are you drinking too much? Are you eating too bad? Are you willing to change all these things? Because if your answer is not 10, then guys, I will say that maybe you shouldn't be here until it is 10. Okay? And the last question I want you to answer for yourself is, do you believe you will do it this time? If I go back to that first question, most people probably said three or five or seven or many years or all of their lives. So I, I want you to ask yourself, from last night when we talked about lifestyle change and we talked about changing our body and we talked about becoming the best version of ourselves, do you believe that you will do it this time? Do you believe you will do it over the next four weeks and over the next 16 weeks and over the next 12 months? Because I certainly hope you do. And I hope I motivated you enough on that lesson one to really make those decisions and think about, yeah, you want to make a lifestyle change for the better, to become the best version of you. So here, here's what I want you to do as well. I want you to think about what you were already successful at. Most people are already successful at something, whether it be work or their relationships or music or a hobby or computer games, whatever it may be. Everyone is good at something. Everyone is best at something. Okay. Now I want you to think about what you're already successful at. What are you best at in life at the moment? And then I want you to think about why are you successful at that? Because there's four main reasons you are successful at that. Okay? The first reason is you make it one of your priorities in life. Every day you wake up, this is one of your main priorities. So whether it be work, you're making sure a huge amount of your energy is going into work. If it's your relationships, you're making sure a huge amount of your energy is about maintaining those relationships and taking care of the people around you. If it's a hobby, I'm sure you've set aside time to practice it every single day, like music or like a sport. So you make it one of your priorities in life. The second thing is you plan it into your day, into your week, into your month, and nothing sets that aside. Nothing pushes it to the side because you always make sure to plan it. 
The third is you consistently work hard at it every single day. I think every single person knows that anyone that's good at an instrument or good at a sport or good at work, they haven't been doing it for a few weeks or a few months. They've been doing it for a few years. And that's why you are successful at it. And of course, you never gave up on achieving your goal or achieving that skill level. And that's why you're successful at what you are best at in life. So if we look at that, we take those very important four things and we put that into our fitness, then we can come up with five very specific ways to succeed with our fitness and our health and our body shape long term. So the five ways that we're going to do this is number one, we're going to make fitness our priority four to five times per week. Even if it's only for 10 or 15 minute workouts, and that's what I've given you in your PDF guidelines so far for the first four weeks. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down on a Sunday, we're going to plan out all our workouts for the week each day to make sure we have a rough plan in place. To make sure we have a rough plan in place. And that means that if something comes up, we can always move one of the workouts to a different day or to a different time if needs be. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to be consistent. This is the true key to changing your body. In 12 months time, you'll look back and you'll realize the reason why you're in such good shape and feel so good and are now 100% better version that you were the 12 months previous was not because of all the workouts you wanted to do. It's because of all the workouts you didn't want to do but you did anyway. It was the consistency. The fourth thing I want you to do is concentrate on enjoying the process, not the end result. Okay. The reason why you're successful at whatever you do, apart from those four things that I said, was also because you're most likely passionate about it, whether it be music or relationships or work. You enjoy the process. So it's not always about the end result, it's about the entire process. So we're going to enjoy the process of our fitness. So we're going to make sure we enjoy our workouts, we find our magic zone. And if it's a case where you're adding sport, or adding yoga, or adding hike, hiking, or anything into it, you make your fitness as enjoyable as possible. And then, just like anything else, we're not going to give up on achieving our dream body. And once we reach that, we're not going to give up on maintaining it. Because we can't work hard for 12 months and get our dream body and change our food and change our lifestyle and change our fitness routine and then once we get there get there go ash you know what i'll just stop doing it all my my body will magically maintain this no it won't you have to maintain it for life just like you maintain your skills in work or with your hobby or with your relationships and that's what we're going to do to succeed in their fitness those five things guys and in 12 months time i promise you you'll become the best version of you over the next four weeks 12 weeks 16 weeks next 12 months i always say think of yourself transformation wise of 12 months down the line and you're going to look back at yourself and go well i can't believe i was so far back there and all i did was consistently do it every week so guys i hope you enjoyed those five little tips to really cement in some good habits this month and really get yourself set for your own ultimate body transformation and i will talk to you guys on the next lesson